Hello, Grandpa55 here. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight we're coming back with another video from Trains 19, 2019. We're back on the Tidewater route, and tonight we're going to be following uh, the Canadian National Mixed Train uh, out of the north, driven by Harry's, uh, operating a C40-8. So here we are waiting for him to make his appearance off the uh, northeast staging yard. So Harry's hauling a consist of mixed uh, freight. He'll just be passing through, but he's going to be dropping off a cut of cars into the yard to be uh, distributed to local industries here in River Point. And some of the cars are going to be uh, operated as an interchange, and the Tidewater Railroad will take those down to Tidewater while they'll be passed on to other railroads to take uh, to other destinations off the map. Now, once he dropped these cars off, you can see that black engine in the background. That's uh, uh, Jessica. She's driving a GP9 chop to it. She'll be uh, the switcher for all these cars once they're uh, dropped off in the yard. Now, Harry's coming in on the inbound track now. That services trains both from the east and west. basically like an industrial park here. Uh, it's got a lot of facilities and industries located in this area. And the big ones are the uh, grain facility, which is River Point Green. And it also has a small intermodal yard. That's where most of the traffic is coming from. But also in River Point, there's a River Point Gas. Uh, there's a, a farm equipment distributor. And then there's another industry, which I really haven't figured out what to do with yet. Now, show you that in another video. So this is a train I assembled in the uh, staging yard to the northeast, so he came from off the track. He's basically going to come in, stop his train, cut off the cars intended for River Point, come back and latch on to his uh, consist and leave the route to the west. Yard speed limit for the Tidewater Railroad is uh, 15 miles an hour. And in general, the uh, the track for connecting Tidewater to the South River Point to the North is about 40 miles an hour. Now the Tidewater Railroad is a, is a short line. It connects those two cities of Tidewater and River Point. So there's a few industries in between. It's mostly operating grain and intermodal services, but there are some smaller uh, industries and, and businesses that are also served in those two cities. So Harry's stopped his train now. The conductor back here is gonna uncouple And the leading string of cars there are going to be dropped off on the uh, inbound track to be sorted by Jessica. Let's take a look here to see how far this train extends over that road. And it is blocking traffic, and it's going to be blocking for a little while. So I think next time what I'll do is I'll have the uh, folks pull up a little bit further because their cut of cars is pretty long. They can actually 
put their entire consist that's going on to all points west completely on that yard without blocking that uh, that road. So, live and learn. Again, this is only the second train coming into this route. It's Tidewater, made by Jointed Rail. It's an excellent route, beautifully detailed. A lot of in interesting operations are possible here. This is only the second train coming in, so basically, other than the, the grain train that I brought into Tidewater the other day, everything else is empty. So I'm going to be filling up the yards, I'll be filling up the industries as these trains come in. This yard that he's pulling through right now is served only by uh, Canadian National up to the north. It serves as both a yard for local industries such as the intermodal and the uh, grain services and the other smaller industries in the area, but also as an interchange because Tidewater is going to pick up those cars, drag them down south to Tidewater while they'll connect with uh, Norfolk Southern as well as CSX. One thing I forgot to do was load some of these cars before this session started, but say let me, we can just say it really is an empty hopper and empty green cars, or I'm sorry, empty uh, hopper cars. sure the switches are set once we get past the inbound track switch. Harry will stop the train, the conductor will throw the switch and then we'll back them into the, uh, the receiving track. We'll have Jessica sort those cars on a future video. So that last car, that auto rack, has cleared the uh, switch. Conductor has thrown the switch and he's going to hop on board and ride that car all the way back uh, to a point where the engineer Harry can stop and safely clear the uh, adjacent tracks. Now you can see there's kind of a gap in the in the rails there. The car, the uh, tracks to the left there. That's where the intermodal and the grain cars will be stored and, and uh, sorted. The tracks on the right where they're headed right now, uh, the one on the far most left in the middle there, is actually the inbound track, whether it's coming from the east or the west of the other tracks, there's not very many, are going to be used to sort the cars and get them arranged to uh, bring out to the, uh, the local industries. I just started replaying uh, Trains 2019. It's, as I mentioned before in another video, it's a love-hate relationship. I've had some issues with some routes that I've uh, built, spent hundreds of hours on, suddenly just disappear in an update, never to be seen again. And other tr other routes that I built where a lot of the, uh, I think it was in 20, uh, in uh, Trains 12 maybe, uh, or 10, I can't remember. But anyways, uh, a lot of the, um, cars and locomotives and other equipment and textures and stuff that I built that route on, again spending hundreds of hours, were no longer being serviced and they were out of date and they just basically disappeared as well. <clears throat> so it was it was frustrating uh, 
building my own route, spending all that time, and then not being able to actually have them stick around for various reasons. So now I'm doing some of the built-in routes. This one's Tidewater. It's part of the uh, Trains 2019 Platinum Edition package. Beautiful package, again, made by Tidewater, and I'm sorry, by uh, Jointed Rail. And their stuff is just top, top notch, high quality. I believe these engines here are also made by Tidewater. They're part of this route. Uh, windows open, lights come on, ditch lights work. Uh, you can actually open the doors. A lot of that stuff I don't really care about, but I think it's actually really cool that they've got that much detail. So once he's pushed us back just a little bit further, Harry's going to come to a stop. The conductor's going to dis uh, uh, set the handbrake and then disconnect the cars, uncouple them, and Harry will bring his engines forward, where he'll proceed to clear that one switch again and then uh, back up onto his consist that he left in the inbound track, blocking that road to a bunch of aggravated drivers, I'm sure. And then he will be on his way to all points west. He'll go to the staging yard out to the west. One thing I've noticed in this route, though, is that there is no traffic on the highways. Now, it's, I'm not sure if it's something I need to activate. Not all roads in this game have traffic on them. But I would think with the quality of the stuff that uh, uh, Jointed Rail makes, you'd think that they would have had traffic on the roads. I'll have to check, <coughs> excuse me, I'll have to check into that. So once he clears this switch here, the conductor will throw the switch. He'll jump on that first engine, ride it back to the consist that's waiting for him on the inbound track. Beautiful sunny day here in uh, River Point. The day starts on this route a little bit before 7. The first grain train, first train of the day, arrives in Tidewater about 7 o'clock in the morning. And this is the very next train on the schedule that I've devised. It's the, the mixed freight on Canadian National coming from the east. So again, Canadian National is the sole user of this yard here at River Point. And down to the south at Tidewater, that yard is actually split into two sections, a north and a south yard. Norfolk Southern will service the uh, southern part of the yard and CSX will service the north part of the yard. And the next video I make will probably be just a tour of, of the uh, route so you have an idea of what's going on. It's actually a beautiful route. And, uh, I made some modifications, but it is just really well designed. So Harry's, Harry's backing down onto his consist that he left in the yard. They'll hook up the air hoses and all the other stuff and they will be on their way. You can see the intermodal yard there in the background. And just to the left there, coming toward the center, you can see a bunch of John Deere tractors parked. That's something I'm going to do a little bit more scenery work on, but that's going to be a uh, farm equipment distributor, basically. So they'll get some loads on the flat cars, harvesters, tractors, and stuff like that. Because this is generally a, a huge farming community. Obviously, grain is biggest industry. So I'll add a, a building there, an office building, put in some parking lots and put in some more uh, equipment that they would be unloading off these flat cars. So Harry's slowing down now to reconnect with his train. Coming in at a crawl. The conductor, at least with the CSX, they're allowed to jump off the train when it's below four miles an hour. Obviously, safety first, right? So here he is connected. 
we won't pause and wait for uh, the conductor to hook up the air hoses. We'll just assume that it's done. And now I'm going to make a mistake here. Uh, you can see that I'm adding uh, some commands from my library of commands. But rather than do the Canadian National Grain Train to the um, staging track west, I gave him the command for Canadian National Mixed Train. So he's going to go to the end of the yard and stop. So we'll just pretend that he did not get clearance from his dispatcher to leave the yard. And he was sitting there waiting for clearance before he left. But that was a mistake on my part. There's a passenger station off to the left there, just over that red Canadian National uh, hopper. There is no more passenger service, unfortunately, on the Tidewater, so all those built buildings have been converted to offices. Harry going underneath the viaduct. You can see the, the gantry signals are green, giving him a go, but uh, he only got permission to get to the end of the yard. He did not get permission to leave, so he's going to slow down and stop here, unfortunately. But again, that was my fault. I gave him the wrong things. And I was thinking at this point, why is he stopping? He should be just moving on. I was thinking, well, maybe he's waiting to throw some signals down the road there that weren't uh, set correctly. But in reality, he wouldn't get a green signal if those signals weren't set properly. So that was just me giving him the wrong command. So I, I didn't show it on the video here, but I gave him a quick command to drive to uh, the waypoint he's supposed to go to, and now he's off and on his way. Now with these trains, Norfolk Southern, CSX, and Canadian National, you know, this could be several different locations. It could be upstate New York. It could be parts of Pennsylvania. And I live in Michigan, so it could be Michigan too. All those railroads come through this area. Judging by the hills and whatnot, if it is in Michigan, which I'm pretending that it is, it's up into the north. It's down south. It's relatively flat. You get some beautiful rolling hills, kind of what you're seeing here in the northern part of Michigan. I use a uh, Excel spreadsheet to randomly generate traffic for um, this route. It tells me how many cars each of the industries on the map are ordering. Uh, I also use a random number generator to determine the cars that aren't servicing the route itself, how many are passing through. So it gives me a, a realistic and random distribution of types of cars to make up the train. So you don't see 
you know twenty five box cars in a row followed by twenty five gondolas followed by fifteen uh, flat cars there's they're mixed in like you would see in a real train so there's Harry departing the map to the west uh, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video as they always say give me a like and subscribe if you would like and please leave some comments. I'm always interested in seeing what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching.